Hi guys, welcome to the short video about device cam outdoor and the question if they need a micro SD card. So actually they're working with a cloud and it's free rolling 14 days cloud. So uh, similar to the other wise cams, uh, they don't need actually uh, an SD card, but it's better to have SD card because you get more functionality, more features. So yeah, and the thing is you need or you can even enter two micro SD cards into device cam outdoor. You can add one uh, into the base. You have this thing on the sides. The pins come to the top. It's not protected because it's not uh, intended for outdoor for the camera itself uh, we have it here it's protected with this flap here and the pins come to the uh, down or yeah i mean depending on how you hold the camera and it's just here yeah it, it looks a little bit scary because it's pretty far inside but still you can push it inside all the way and you can take it out after that if you can't reach that with your fingernails you can use like a small coin or so but it works pretty good i've done this a couple of times then make sure that it's nicely covered yeah from my side i wished that cover was a little bit better here but it is okay so the question is then why would you need that why do we add the micro sd cards yeah on the camera it has three advantages i mean we can use then the continuous recording otherwise there's no continuous recording uh, in the, from the camera actually uh, that's not uh, like uh, other cameras have the other security cameras have the only way you can have like 24 7 recording with this camera is only through the micro SD card but of course you have to make sure or you have to be aware of that it consumes a lot of power probably after a couple of days the battery will be empty but uh, I mean it's rechargeable battery you can recharge it so no problem with that you just have to be aware of that if you go on holiday or like vacation or something like that it's better not to use continuous recording otherwise you will ma miss maybe some important footage and uh, during the time when it you have the re continuous recording it will still uh, record like uh, these alarm recordings uh, with uh, I think 12 second footage if somebody's moving or something like that uh, it doesn't change the second thing is you can really store the whole footage if uh, the camera detects something it won't uh, it will not only transmit these things to the cloud but you can also store it to the sd card and for me the most important thing here is uh, and the biggest reason why to add a micro sd card here is the time lapse uh, time lapse is really nice thing that's something which uh, i haven't seen with any other uh, battery operated security camera and this was also actually the reason why I bought this camera because of the time lapse and we can only use that with the micro SD card so make sure you add one and by the way uh, you can only use that with FAT32 or XFAT but rec recommended is FAT32 which is a little bit difficult sometimes to format on a PC but you can format it in the app shouldn't be a problem and the reason why we add one here is uh, if something happens you can uh, copy the whole footage from the camera to the base station if you have longer footage i haven't done this i will try this out and see how it works this was just in the description i found some articles about that so i think at the end it's a good thing to have micro sd cards in both of these devices but it's actually not needed if you want to save some money and you're fine with the basic uh, footage like with the alarm footages which they provide without sd card then yeah, you, you can maybe start to use that without and maybe add this later on. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with that. 
If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about new things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.